Hello, hello, this is Minecraft here, and welcome to another episode of Minecraft Vanilla Super Flat Survival. And, like I promised in the last episode, I did not actually build a boat rapid transit system to the nearest village. Instead, I do have quite a bit of news, and I did not really want to build a boat transportation system. Uh, I was actually going to first go and trade with some villagers to get glass, and to do that, I was I went um, that way. I went eastward to my next village, to the next possible village, and I was actually able to find a lot of things. And we just saw zombie pigmen spawn. Is he over here? Aw, oh, he despawned or went into the nether portal. That's unfortunate. I was gonna kill him and get some, uh, possibly get an enchanted golden sword, which we, which he was holding. But what I did find is I found horses, which is really great. So as you can see, I was able to salvage three horses. All of them are white. I have two saddles that I looted from blacksmith's chests, and I um, I trained them by like going on to them, and I um, kind of I don't know what's the word for it, but um, to get a horse to abide to you, you have to kind of get onto it without holding anything, and then just kind of uh, keep on going up to it, and then it's gonna throw you off, and then when it stops throwing you off, that's when. Uh, you, you can uh, mount a saddle on it and ride it, so. Um, well, these are uh, the three horses that I got. All of them are white. Um, I did put the two saddles on these that, um, the saddles that I got from looting different blacksmith's chests. Now, I made this little pen for my horses right over here. So, these are the exits. This is exit one. This is exit two. This is the outer exits. And notice how they're all double exits, so that so that uh just in case uh, and so it would be easier to fit the horse through because it's um it's sometimes hard to fit it through a one block opening or sometimes i'm not even able to fit it through a one block opening so i have two block openings um with fence gates everywhere just to make sure and this is a very slow horse you can see it's a bit slow uh, and it cannot jump very high and to demonstrate that i'm going to try to jump over this fence as you can see even when going to almost the maximum height that it can go to, I'm not able to... Uh, I'm not able to... Oh, if you just saw that, it went up all the way, and I was not able to jump through. However, this is my really fast horse, much faster, and, it'll, and if you noticed, it has also a bit more health than that horse over there, and it's very fast, and it can also jump over large fences, so let me just show you. Uh, okay, yeah, that was a bad example because I was standing over there, but I can jump over this fence like so. So you can see I was able to jump over it, and I don't want to go over there because I might get killed by mobs and slimes. And I did actually get killed by a slime one time when I was riding the horse. So, I was going to eat something right here. I was going to eat those carrots. So anyway, we finally now got another form of transportation. Now, I didn't want to make these three tall. However, um, I found out that I'm able to make these just two tall. Um, and these openings are mainly for the slow horses that are not able to jump through, and the only way to get them out of this enclosure is by using these two exits. Um, but this one right here, I will most likely jump through or just kind of open it. And as you can see, I can go in, and then I can go out, and then I can close it, like so. I was actually thinking about making a redstone integrated system where I'm able to just press a button and then all of the doors open at once and then there's another button on the other side. But I'll do that as soon as I get more redstone because I really don't have access to much redstone. Um, and right here I have a lead and uh, some wheat to um, feed them in case they get um, hurt or anything. I also have the lead just to lead them if I want to, and also this is probably the first time that I actually crafted something out of slime. Um, I used slime to craft these, and I used 20 slime to craft these, so this is probably one of the only instances when slime balls were actually useful. Uh, actually, I was planning to use this area for an iron golem farm, but unfortunately it seems that... Mm, there's not much space here now. If we look right here, it's about it ends right here. So we have about from here all the way to over here, and there's not that much aerial space either because this is being occupied by the uh, grinder over here. So 
Uh, I don't know what I'm going to do with this area. I think I might make an automatic. Okay, let's kill that. I think I make. I, I think I might make an automatic fish farm or uh, or add more cells because I was actually able to find some. I think I was able to find a cow somewhere over there, uh, and uh, two pigs, but I wasn't able to get them in here. So. If I get the possibility, I'll fence this area off and then add more breeding cells. But I'll have to make sure that I'll have these passages open just so I'm able to run around the area. So we are kind of running out of space to build the. We're kind of running out of space to build our um, iron farm, and I think our iron farm is gonna be somewhere around here. At first, I actually thought that our plot of land that we build was built way long ago and I mean by this enclosure that we have here that's all lit up and mob and slime free uh, I thought that this was uh, too too uh, too um, I thought it was too big but then on the other hand right now it actually seems too small because I don't even know how I'm gonna fit in all the farms that I want to fit in here so uh, yeah, that's that. But um, I've been actually thinking about the possibility possibility of using horses to get from to get from the breeder back to my base and to get from this vill um, from my base to that village over there. But then I realized that I should probably not use horses, and the reason for that is it kind of seems a bit counterintuitive. But actually, the reason that I don't think I should use horses is because uh, horses, they might, they might die, they might, um, disappear, they might despawn, and it's just, in general, not really easy to build, uh, no, I mean, it's, in general, it's not very easy to keep, um, to make sure that horses are a reliable form of transport. Now, I will most likely use these horses to and from the faraway villages, like right there, over there, and uh, the village over there, but I'm still planning to build a rapid boat transit system from, uh, from my base to the villager breeder, and from the villager breeder maybe to that village over there. Just because I really like mechanical builds more than I like, um riding horses because it's no fun riding horses because then I don't have to build anything and another perk of the boat transport system is that when riding um when riding a horse I I have to um when riding a horse I have to actually be here and I have to press W and actually control it but if I'm inside a boat transport system then I don't actually need to be there and I could just go somewhere and I mean like go somewhere in real life while my character in Minecraft is being transported since it doesn't require me to uh, control anything but of course the boat transport systems do take up a lot of space uh, it, it is probably going to be somewhere like three by three, so it's going to be one, two, three, and then there's going to be one median block in the center, and one, two, three, and then um, there's going to be a fence right here. So, for example, let me just show you it right here. So there's going to be a fence right here. There's going to be a ditch right here. Um, actually, no, there's going to be a ditch like so. And I'm just making it three by three just in case, so it minimizes crashes. Uh, then it's going to be 3x3 three three here, and I'm going to have a fence right here. So this is what a rapid uh, boat transit system looks like, and it's going to—it's a very wide system compared to just one block wide rails. But of course, I don't have access to rails, and I won't until I actually build the transport system for villagers and build an iron farm, because otherwise there's no way of getting iron. Um, and even then, when I do get the uh, needed amount of uh, iron ingots, then it's going to be difficult. Oh then it's going to be difficult to, uh, oh, that almost got me. It's going to be quite difficult to get enough gold to create power rails, and because you probably know that for, um, for rail transport, we need power rails as well as regular rails, so. And, of course, power rails require redstone, too, which I frankly don't have, um, uh, too much either so and oh yes I did get some more redstone so now I'm up to 11 redstone I've been thinking about making like I said before I've been thinking about making uh, an automatic uh, this gate opener thingy that would open them easier but then on the other hand I will um, I will use this horse to get around most often which is the fastest horse I won't don't want to use the slow horse so 
so I probably won't need this. I could just jump up and then jump uh, down, like like I showed you before. The 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 horse can jump up, so jump over the fence. So which is kind of surprising. I mean, it's more than three blocks tall. I've been actually thinking to take off uh, the saddle off this horse because it's just not efficient. Uh, and let me just uh, mount the saddle on this horse. This is how the saddle looks like. Uh, and then we can place the saddle right here. Oh yeah, this is this is a slow horse as well. Yeah, this horse is about as slow as this horse right here is. But it does still have a bit more health than that horse does. And let me see, can I jump over? Okay. Nope, it can't jump over. So apparently the only horse that's strong enough to jump over is this horse. And just so I don't mix up the two, I think I'll take the saddle off and put it on here. Since, put it on uh, this horse right here, since you probably know that uh, this horse and this horse look alike. So I need a way of distinguishing them, so I'll just not have a saddle on this one. So uh, that's that. It's a great opportunity of... Um, using better transportation than just brewing potions. I like potions of speed, I like speed potions, and I like using speed potions, but however, they do require resources, and uh, to be honest, they are a bit, um, it takes a while to brew them, so. And of course, they do take the glowstone, so. Okay, almost died there. And also, if you notice that, I made some more um, hay or wheat, and I, I kind of really made a lot of, um, wheat and crafted into hay bale, so we have 48 blocks of hay, so that's a ton, and, uh, I'll use that to trade later, so, okay, let me just hit them right, like so, and what I think I'm gonna do right now is I think I'm gonna ride a horse, oh, is it morning? Oh, yeah, it's morning, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to ride a horse to some closest villages just so I can trade with some uh, villagers so I can get oh yeah there's a way that I can hit some of them through right here there's kind of a hitbox gap boundary where they can kind of glitch out so it's kind of cheating but I still like to hit them through it and as you can see I already killed one through it and it is really annoying it's actually very difficult to kill the witches okay there's still one more witches are great but of course they're very difficult to kill as demonstrator read that. Oh yeah, we got some sugar, which is great. So we can make more uh, potions. Okay, let's see. We got three glowstone. Oh, two bottles. Not bad. Not bad at all. Um, oh yeah, I also got a bit. I think I got a bit more armor. Okay, did he drop any armor? Nope. Oh, feather falling too. That's actually very nice because uh, that way we can jump and not get hurt as much. So. That's nice. Uh, I got a stick from the witch too as well. So, okay, now we got two more sugar. And we have quite a bit of sugar. And also, I don't remember if I showed you this or not, but these are all of the bottles that we have. Well, now we can make another batch of three speed. But basically, I brewed up a bunch more speed two potions because I was expecting to run around more villages. But thankfully, I won't have to do that as much now since I have a horse and a pretty fast horse too, so... I also think I might start breeding the horses just so I could get more horses. And, oh, that one stick that the um, witch dropped. And witches can drop sticks, which is great. So, um, so okay. Oh, actually, yeah, I have to go run. Oh, wow, it's midday by now. Hopefully, the horse will speed up our transport between, between the villages. And Okay, we got 21 emeralds right here, and we'll just grab that. And uh, Oh, yes, this is what I'm also going to grab. I'm also going to grab some wool, just because I can trade the wool with, uh, with uh, the villagers, too. And uh, what else can I trade? Let's see. I can trade the... Uh, I can trade books. Well, I don't really, I'm not really a fan of trading books, but I'll just take some just so I can, uh, trade them just in case. And now we're all geared up and we can go and set out on our journey, so, yeah, that's great. Uh, okay, now let me go get my nice horse, so, this is the horse that I need to get, okay, there's a bunch of slime, now we have to hurry up. Oh, there we go, so collect some of the drops on our way there. Uh, now one really, oh wait, where was that? I think I got hit by slime. 
Oh, so yeah, I, I explored this area right here, and actually I found the original village, so... I don't... I don't actually know if you guys remember or not, but, um, when I was starting this Let's Play, I actually died, I got blew up by a creeper, and that's why I kinda got disoriented, and I lost my original base, so, this is probably the area where I had my original base, so. Oh. We got pigs. Okay, it's going quite slowly. Okay, I'm gonna go and get some more pigs yeah for some reason the most mobs spawn around here like there are areas where the mobs where the peaceful mobs don't spawn at all and then there's areas where they spawn a lot i actually think that right now i don't want to film this because it's a bit boring but i think i'm gonna do is i'm going to get some pigs uh to follow me well at least two pigs to follow me just so i can start a breeding ground for them and as soon as i'm done with that i'll just come back Hello and welcome back. I was able to get the pigs inside this pen right here, and this is <clears throat> this is the temporary pen that I'm going to be keeping them in, um, along with the horses. But eventually, I'm going to build another uh, pen right here, kind of like a pig pen, and it's going to extend somewhere around right here, and then going to go um, as far as up to right here. So that's where I'm going to have uh, pig breeding going on, and maybe if I get uh, um cows i'm gonna be able to split it up and add some more cows somewhere around here so yeah but i actually while getting the um pigs over here i did actually leave my uh best horse over there so to get it i'm gonna drink a potion of swiftness and just run real quick over there so i can go grab my horse from over there and like i said before this is exactly why i don't want to use horses as uh, a, a, a mode of rapid transit. I want to use horses more for like exploration purposes because they're really good for exploring new villages and just going to far off places but they're not good for reliable transport as there is a small chance that they might get lost or they might die or something like that and then you're gonna be left without a horse but um, thankfully my horse did not despawn, nothing happened to it. I'm just place the uh, potion swiftness right here and okay, we have a cow. I actually forgot what we... Hmm, does the potion of swiftness actually make us faster on a horse? I actually don't know. But uh, nevertheless, it actually does seem a bit like we're going a bit faster, but uh, I don't know. Oh, looks like we there, looks like there's more horses there. Uh, well, anyway, that, was, that speed potion was quite useful, so now I'm going to go, go around and try and find a villager that we're gonna be able to trade with oh this is my original base oh, wait or is it oh my god yeah this is the original base this is my first base if you remember um my up to about episode one or two this is where i lived and this is where i got all of my stuff from and um I made these exits to make sure that slimes don't get me when they were piling up outside right here. And, oh, I have to go real quick. Yeah, this is exactly, this is my original base. Oh, and I explored some of the villagers over there, too. I finally found my original village, which is really awesome, because I really wanted to find it for a long, long time. Oh, snap. Okay, now I'm gonna protect the villagers because I just don't want them to die. Now, this is also a negative effect of it, is because since this is a village that I have already been in, that means that some of the villagers have villagers have been already killed off by zombies. Um, this is why I find new villager uh, villages to make sure that. Um, oh, eggs! I need those. Um, I need to make sure that when I get to a village then that most of the village's uh, inhabitants are alive and I like a village to stay in pristine condition and by that I mean that a village is untouched and the village over there I have been in that village for already quite a long time so it is a village that might get there, there might be zombie seizures or something might happen to it so it's good that I did not um, rely on that village too much so now, as far as off-camera work goes, I like I said before, I will 
try as my best as I can to build my rapid transit canal system, my boat canal system, to the area where I'm gonna build my breeder. I'm also gonna try to build my breeder off camera as well. I'm also gonna go around the villages over there on horseback. Uh, I may or may not film it, but I do want to acquire glass before I can build it. It's not a necessity, but um, I do want to have at least five glass with me before I build it, so hopefully we'll get that. Uh, now, in addition to that, I'm also gonna get... Um, oh, the pigs kind of started looking at me when I got my uh, carrots, so... Uh, hopefully I will also build another pig pen, maybe get some chickens in there since I'm getting more and more eggs. Uh, but anyway, thank you for watching. This is my Kralix. Uh, I'm very happy with this Let's Play. It's really getting to be very nice and I'm getting a lot of resources. I'm going to be able to... Oh, it's raining again. I'm going to be able to trade raw pork chop with some villagers to get emeralds. So that's another path I won't have to rely on... Uh, trading uh, just wheat so and uh yeah thank you for watching this is mine Kralix uh see you all in the next episode